Not many people make it out of the district alive. So many stories of young black men in Atlanta have yet to be told. So I want to tell my story. My name is Miller. I grew up in the commons, the real shitty side of the district. My father left me when I was 11. That kind of fucked me up. My mom is in jail for attempted murder trying to kill my father for putting his hands on me in all the wrong places. As a black man, I did what I had to do to survive. Oh man. <laughs> so is that for me? Um to inmate number 9770JMV. It's 987 <laughs> smartass. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom. Now it is. Can they make you no know, cake around here? Look, I ain't the most popular motherfucker in here. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> look Ma, you can't be acting up. You gotta make friends. I do not need to make friends, Miller, okay? Friends ain't nothing but drama. I'm good until I get up out of here. So how you doing? I guess okay. My dad reached out to me. Oh, shit. What this nigga want? No, it's not okay. It's okay. That sounds about right. That's his style. Fucking with people. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about him. Cause guess what? It's my birthday. My son brought me something. <laughs> What's in the bag? Guess. Well, now listen, I ain't got time to guess. You're gonna have to tell me what's in there and I hope it's some damn gummy bears. See, the whole time you've been asking me the most random questions and you never mentioned anything about gummy bears. See, now whatever I got you is gonna disappoint you. No, that is not the truth. Nothing you do could ever disappoint me. I need you to know that. Oh, man, nothing you can ever do can disappoint me neither. Look, but I got you the only thing they allow me to bring to you. Oh, boy, <laughs> I... Listen. <laughs> I ain't mad at you though. It was either this or some socks. <laughs> okay, well you know what? I'm happy with that. Cause when I think about them scratchy ones they sell in that damn vending machine, let me tell you something, struggle, I'll be trying to put them things on. Oh, like no, that. hell no, ma, I don't wanna know. But look, I'm gonna get you those gummy bears, somehow. Hey, man, um, I 
was wondering if, uh, if you got anything to eat. say that. Look, but maybe if you stop smoking everything you make, you'll be in these streets begging people. You know that's just embarrassing? You don't know what I go through. My life ain't easy. I don't know how to get all this. Oh, hold, hold on, nigga. We went to the same school, grew up around the same people. You know what I know. Now I can't maintain what I got because I'm always giving to you. Then why you keep giving to me, huh? I'm such a fucking burden. Why you keep giving to me? Hey, don't be questioning me in my house. You done? Yeah. Hey, um, hey, I was wondering if, uh, if I could spend the night. It's so damn hot out there. Now, last time you tried to sleep here, you tried to steal from me. I'm sorry. Look, you always say sorry. Don't be sorry. Change. I'll sleep here or what? It's gonna change how I feel, Jay. You need to get your shit together. Can we go lay down? You heard what I said. <laughs> I heard you, Dan. So you just gonna take it out of the trash? Yeah, there's something still in here. Nah, <laughs> I tried last night. Not hard enough, here. I don't want that shit, it was in the trash. Yeah, your trash, but fuck it, how you say? Hey, um, you never answered my question. What question? Why you keep giving it to me? Because you got good ass, that's why. Is that it? I mean, before you started smoking that shit, you were an actual person, you know? You used to always do my homework. I wouldn't be out of high school if it wasn't for you. Add in the fact that I care about you, that's why I give it to you. And plus the ass is that though. <laughs> I'm not even gay, you know? Yeah, me neither. I just uh, figured I'd pay you back somehow. Nigga, please, you ride dick like you want it. Because if I don't, you won't let me in next time, right? Cause I got a good ass, that's why you get it? Maybe because we cool. That ass is fat though. Man, I gotta go. Where? Streets. Hey, don't be out there doing dumb shit, okay? Look, I care, okay? 
That nigga j Vaughn for some reason, I always had me wondering about him. I don't know why. Maybe he had me hooked on that ass. But a nigga like me can't show no weakness. I always knew j Vaughn was up to no good. But I liked his company. You see, the streets ain't no joke. So you had to do for yourself. Despite my current situation, a brother had goals. Niggas in the commons always boasting about construction jobs and how much they pay. So I figured, you know, why not find out? But the Brotherhood is a small group of entitled motherfuckers that want favors and shit before you can even get in. And just so happened, today of all days, I run into one of them motherfuckers. It's good, man. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. good. See you. So, what you, what you doing here, bro? Ah, uh, man, you know, me and my friend just came over here, grabbed some food. He ain't gonna grab some food for me right now. Uh, what friend? Ah, uh, my home. His name is Leon. You don't know him. Leon? Yeah. Construction dude? Yeah. But, yeah. Let me, let me tell you something, bro. I, I wouldn't... I don't know. I don't know about them guys, man. I mean, I've been hearing some things on the street, and this... From what I've been hearing, don't trust them guys. I'm trying, don't trust them dudes. I'm telling you. I appreciate it, bro. I got you. You're not listening. I'm, I'm telling you. Do not trust them. Word on the street is they they on some fishy stuff. And they're looking out for my brother. That's all, bro. No, I appreciate it, man. Of course. Appreciate it, bro. All right, man. All right, I'm going to catch up with you later, though. All right, bro. Okay. Do your thing. All right, bro. It's sad, but Javon was right. Other than my sperm donor, Leon was the only other man that forced himself onto me. Fuck, I ain't never been touched in those places as a grown ass man. I ain't know what the fuck to do. I know y'all thinking I'm a, I'm a punk and shit, but what the fuck would you do?
crash her wall nigga, man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> Yo, man, can I sleep in a night? Can I stay here or what? You know I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, my jar is so fucking bad. Ah. And who did this to you? Mr. Lee, the barber. I bet you tried to rob his ass or something. That's, that's what I do. Ah. Your bitch ass deserve this shit, then. You got anything to eat? Really? Sure, not really. Pop some bread and jelly. What's wrong with you? I'm good. Who did something to you? You ain't acting right. I'm just thinking about my future, man. Met this guy who can probably get me a job with construction. Oh, shit. Shit, we'll be living, living real nice, huh? I'll be living nice. You know, make some money, send some money to my mom for commissary. You know, something. You already chained up on me, huh? Yo, let me tell you something. Those construction dudes are fucked up. One tried to pay me to fight his girl because he thought she was cheating on him. They're kind of like the mob. They control this district. You think you can handle that? Look, I'm just trying to make some money. Okay, look, I'm gonna go in, work, get paid, and then come home. I'm not trying to make any friends. You think you can put me in there? First, after I get myself there, maybe. But you know you don't want no job, so don't even play, Javon. What? You don't think I want better for myself? Hell no! Look, you look pretty comfortable being a bum right now. Don't talk down on me like I'm nothing, man. Look, prove it. Listen, stop acting as if you're the shit yourself. You live in the commons, nigga. You ain't making any money either. A step up on the bus bench. Exactly. I live here. You don't. <laughs> look, I ain't about to sit here and have no pissing contest with no fucking bum. Fuck you. Fuck me? Look, get out. Take that stale ass sandwich with you. Hold up. You gave me stale ass bread? Yep. <laughs> Look at you. Smacking hard, too. Your fucking jaws ain't hurting that bad. Why are you so worried about my jaw? What the fuck are you doing here? You left all your clothes in my car. How'd you find out where I lived though? I told you I used to hang out at the commons. So me coming up to a place like this asking for a miller is nothing new. Although it is good to be back in the hood. 
There's nothing good about being in the hood. Can you let me in before I get jacked? Where the fuck are my clothes? I can explain. Just let me in. Change. Although they did add AC. Where are my clothes? <laughs> clothes. Your clothes were raggy and they smelled damp so I guess they didn't finish drying or something. So I bought you some new ones. Here, try these nah, on. I'm good. Where are my clothes? I tossed them. Now these were $20 a pair and that shit you had in that bag had holes and dookie stains in them. But fuck they didn't. Okay, I'm just kidding. But these do look nicer though. Think of it as a gift for, for you, my friend. And an apology. I was wrong about yesterday. Now you wrong today for trashing my shit. Okay, you gotta stay angry at me? I mean, we can't go networking with this kind of tension. Go network? Yeah. Yeah, my friend's having a cookout and all of the guys from the Brotherhood are gonna be there. And this is a cookout that you don't want to miss. See, not only is the host my best friend, but he's also the president of the Brotherhood. He's the CEO, the boss, the man at the top. For real? For real. So try these on and let's go. I did good. You look nice. I still like my old shit better though. You'll adjust. Come on, let's go. <laughs> My nigga! I figured you'd be somewhere in here partying by yourself. Uh, well, you know I enjoy my own company. Besides, everybody out there trying to kiss ass and see how much money they get out of me. That's why I only fuck with retired niggas like you. <laughs> get tired. Yeah, I made plenty of money out there. But some of us don't know how to quit like this fool sitting right here. Shit, I quit when I'm dead. Besides, I'm the king. Anyway, who is this young? This? is Miller. <laughs> he's from the commons, but he's trying to work his way on up. Oh, fuck it. You hired. Welcome to the Brotherhood, young buck. <laughs> when you want to start? I mean, pick up a hammer and shit. Well, he's not old enough. When do you turn 21? Uh, next year. Okay, we'll do it then. I mean, hiring too soon is gonna fuck up my insurance plan. I mean, just like that? I heard it was impossible to get a job in construction around here. It is, but not if you don't have the right friend. And I am a good friend, right? I mean, yeah? Yeah. Shit, Leon, I'm the best type of friend. Loyal, generous, trustworthy. He been my ace boom for years. That's why if you're fucking with him, you're fucking with me. Now he's been good so far. <laughs> Anyway, let me go out here and socialize with kiss ass niggas. New clothes, new drawers, new job. I'm bet you glad you got in that car, right, damn you? 
Yeah, definitely glad. <laughs> I already got the job, right? Still, you have to get to know the guys, embrace the brotherhood. Now, that's a lot of politics going on behind the scenes, and being my friend is always going to be able to protect you. Yeah, look, everybody I try to talk to in there is fucking crazy. They only care about money, power, or sex. Most. Look, one dude thought I was his son. Another nigga asked me to let him watch me fuck his wife. I haven't had one normal conversation in there yet. Oh, fuck! You need to get it together. You need to be social and learn how to bullshit like everybody else. Look at me. Smile and nod at these niggas. You're gonna be on a job site, and trust me, it's much more enjoyable when you're not a fucking cunt to everybody else. I got it. Smile. Be nice, friend. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> what the hell you want, man? My dick rubbed on. <laughs> I done fucked all these bitches out here and I ain't impressed. Come on, let's go to Bunny. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you better go back up in there and get you one of them bitches. <laughs> nope. Bunny, I want to see some strippers. <laughs> Lee, are you driving? Cause I ain't seeing shit right now. You drop me up home first. <laughs> Hell fucking no. You coming out with us. Ain't no arguments, boy. I said so. Dwayne and Leon were some odd niggas. But I had to do what I needed to do to make sure I get this damn job. So if I had to listen to these motherfuckers talk about stupid shit for hours just to make some money, then I was all he is. You see, Leon had an odd way of showing how he liked somebody. From the new clothes that he got me, the new phone, I didn't think that there was anything else that I would really need from him. But the Brotherhood expressed how they take care of their own and how we had to dress and look a certain part. So I didn't even know that Leon stashed over two grand in my laundry bag when he gave it to me. Now I feel like I'm in debt to this nigga.
Okay, so what you're saying is that I'm gonna be gonna eat Oreos this weekend? <laughs> yes, mom. I'm gonna deposit the money in your account when I leave here. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> now, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna ask you this, just cause I'm, is this clean money? Yes, ma, clean money. I'm out here behaving myself, even though nobody else ain't. You being good? Yeah, 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 I mean, I abandoned my cutting ways, you know. I did have to smack a bitch for messing with my hair, you know? It took me forever to find a Mexican bitch in here to redo my hair. Shit, niggas don't ever want to see niggas happy. <laughs> we should overcome all things and each other someday. I miss you too. Why'd you have to act up? I mean, was Stephen Jenner even worth it? Listen, acting up is all I know how to do. I'm from the Commons. And as far as Janet's fat ass, the only time I regret doing that to that bitch is when I think about how much I miss you. Then I think about her face, you know? When she realized that I was just as crazy as she fucking thought I was. And <laughs> Ma, that shit is you got good. to chill, okay? I love you. I love you too. Why y'all dressed up, nigga? Where we going? We? Nowhere. But I'm about to go to the mall. The mall? Where y'all broke ass get money from? Nigga, I'm broke just like you. I said I'm going to the mall. I didn't say shit about me spending money. You right, but you carrying that new iPhone. What you selling? You pushing that yayo? I mean, can a nigga get some? <laughs> Look, I'm not selling drugs. I'm going to start working at the construction job I was telling you about. One of them niggas saw my old phone was busted and he bought me a new one. See, there's some good, decent niggas around here, even though it might not look like it around here. You know what? Congrats, man. You got somebody looking out for you and shit. You know, all you ever did was hook me up with a stale bread and jelly sandwich. Nigga, I've done more for you than that. I know, man. I'm just playing with you. But you know what? Congrats. You deserve everything you're getting right now. You know? Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go watch niggas play ball at the court or something. I'm going to holler at you, all right? Yeah. You want to roll with me? I ain't buying shit. Not even one pretzel? I'll buy you one pretzel. But that's it.
It's the life I can fucking get used to. You can go to work and I can stay home and clean up. You wanna get married to a nigga because I done bought you some clothes? Man, you know it's more than that. We cool together. Except the straight nigga. I guess money does change people. Man, shut up. I know one thing money does for sure though. What's that? Improve your performance in bed. <laughs> that head you giving me was the best ever, hands down. <laughs> you know, uh, I was inspired. I know one thing's for sure. I got some competition now. Don't forget, people in the street do talk, Miller. What does that mean? It means if one of those niggas gave you that iPhone, it means you're giving them something back. And I know all that money you spent today is coming from the same nigga who got you that iPhone. Chill. Chill? I'm just saying, don't lie to me. You fucking one of them construction niggas, don't feel special. All them got some bitch or nigga that they dig out in fun. You ain't joining no special club. Look, I'm not sleeping with anybody, and I don't care if you believe me or not. All I care is you better not be out in them streets saying that shit. You hear me, Jay? Yeah, man, whatever. People gonna think what they want to think. Yeah, only if niggas like you can keep their mouth shut. Jay, don't try to come for me as if you didn't just finish sucking the black off my dick because I didn't bought you a fucking t-shirt talking about cleaning my house and shit. Jay, keep your mouth shut unless a dick is in it. You hear me? Trust me. Things are better than we between us. Man, you can be mean as hell, Miller. Yeah, niggas like you need tough love. So you're just gonna try to snatch my PS4? Nah, man. I'm trying to make sure it's plugged up in there. It's like you're trying to go somewhere. Battle kinda heavy. It's in the bag, Jay. Just the stuff you bought me. I'm gonna buy you this much shit. <clears throat> in the core. Man, you got a construction nigga looking out for you. You set. I don't have nothing. So you're just gonna try to take the little I got. Fuck you, Jay. Look at your eye. I'll be all right. I should've got you some painkillers. I already took painkillers and it ain't kill shit. Yeah, the thing that needs to be killed is your attitude towards me. Now most people in the streets would be lucky to have a friend like me. And I can look around this room at all these shopping bags and tell that you spent the money that I gave you. Don't spend my fucking money and then act like I'm a bother to you or else we can kill this shit right now. Wait a minute. You put your hand on my pants. You send me a picture of your dick. And then you have the nerve to sit here and make it seem like this brotherhood is some type of legit thing? You playing fucking games. I already know how this brotherhood shit work now. Who else you trying to sponsor? Nobody. Shit, although people always throw themselves at me expecting stuff. Mostly females, but every now and then a man. Even though I don't fuck with men. So, I don't want to be friends with nobody who wants, who wants to use me though. But just know you won't be using me at all. You know what? I apologize for all of the inappropriate advances. You know, I thought that you was one of those brothers, deep down inside one of those brothers, that, that, you, that you went that way. It makes me feel like the relationship is going to last. Well, I'm not. Never. Tell me this. Why did your homeboy flip out on you? Me. I told him niggas some information and I was about to start working at the construction and he just flipped out. Envy? Nah. Javon ain't the jealous type. He's just greedy. Yeah. But I think this is a good lesson for you. To learn not to mix your financial business with your social business. You see, we're very highly respected in this district. These niggas out here, they'll try and pull you down. 
the ones below you that try to bring you right back down where you are to them. Man, these fools out here don't know that y'all crazy. Yeah, well see, money and power will do that to you. But I think it's time for you to learn what the brotherhood is all about. Hey, Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah, get Harris over here right now. Who the fuck is Harris? Protection. Now get yourself together, put on something, because we're going over to Dwayne. Look, I go where I want to go, first of all. Biller, do you want to live in the comments the rest of your life? Fix it. Maybe that'll stop you from coming home and breaking stuff. You gonna tell me what happened at work? Nah, I hate bringing shit home from work. You know, I came in here fucking scared Naya. She didn't even need to see me like that last night. She didn't even mention it to me when I walked her to the bus stop this morning. But at least we know where she got a little tantrums from, though. But just because she didn't ask any questions don't mean I won't. Why exactly did you come home last night acting like a fool? And don't give me that lame ass construction business non-answer. Something or someone at work is bothering you. Nothing was bothering me. It was just a long day, that's all. My injury is bothering me. Which is why I think you should stop doing what you do for a living. But I won't rehash that debate. What side are you working at again? Hmm? Why? Because career day is coming up and you should be there for Naya and I don't want you telling her you're working at the newest strip club in town. <laughs> well, it's a strip club. And career day is your thing anyways. Nursing is way more important than putting nails on some boards. Why don't you just bring them them colorful band-aids like you did last year? How's the Wayne doing by the way? Oh the boss? He good? Oh. By the way, can you go check and see if my electric drill charged? Sure. Please. You a boy? My homeboy Javon. I'm okay though. What the fuck do you say to catch that ass beat? He already talking like he working on some site. Got his little homeboys thinking that he making big money. Can you please just let this go? Let it go. Fool, you in the brotherhood. You can't just let shit go. You need to realize that you're gonna forever be a target on somebody's back when you work for us. People gonna see what you got on and know it's expensive. And then they're going to see what you got in your house and know that it's nice. You need to strike fear in that heart. Or you separate yourself from them. Separate your... No, nah, that's how pussies handle shit. Look, don't get it twisted. I'll fight a nigga. But I'm a businessman. That ain't my style anymore. My nephew Harris, he does all my fighting now. And tonight, he going to help you out. So what is Javon nigga at? Why? Why? Because we need to send a message to Javon he needs to keep your name and your business out his mouth. And most importantly, he needs to understand that he can't be fucking with you like that. Where's he at? Um, he usually hangs out at a park. Around the block at this lady he goes to church with house. She usually brings him food. All right. Well, let's go talk to Javon then. All right, huh? I'll see you later. You too, Leon. Separate yourself. Pussies.
Hey, you can just take me home. You don't have to do this. I promised my uncle I'd do this. Be your own man then. Fuck him. In the brotherhood, loyalty means a lot. So does trust. If he acts, I'll do. Oh, so you a slave then? I'd rather be his slave than starving in the streets. Man, I used to work in construction before I injured myself. And instead of letting me fade away, Dwayne kept me around. It wasn't as if your uncle was going to just drop you. You do know he's not my real uncle, right? Yeah. He looked out for me. You want to stay on Dwayne's good side. And even Leon's. They're both good dudes. Leon just works a little different. Different? Well, after breaking up with his girlfriend, Marie, she put all of Leon's business out there. Like how when he wasn't fucking her, he was out chasing college niggas on the low. I seen him myself with his face buried in the booty of one of the new construction workers. <laughs> I mean, he might be straight on the outside, but his breath probably smells like a collective of 20 year old broke nigga sticks. That nigga claim he don't like dudes. <laughs> nah, Marie left him scarred and then tore him down. See, he like young niggas like me and you, but we don't talk about that. Dwayne blew them rumors down a long time ago. And people don't like to bring up what Marie did because they want to keep their jobs. Look, he ain't never touching me. <laughs> you coming in with the wrong mindset already. And a dude like Leon, you gotta, you gotta tease him. You know what I'm saying? And play the politics, set boundaries, you know? In this case, you just happen to be the best bargain tool. And <laughs> what's yours? Knowledge. A lot of knowledge about Dwayne. For example, I only talk business with him when he and Bunnies. Why? Because when he's in there, he gets so distracted that he says yes to basically anything that I request. Even if you're straight, play Leon's game. That's not the problem. I just don't want to feel owned. Man, look, you might have to be a little owned until you get the upper hand financially. Man, look, it's called the long con. It took me a long time to, you know, control Dwayne. You got it. Man, grow the fuck up and just flash that nigga some dick or something so you can get you a car. <laughs> Come on. So is he out here? <sighs> nah, I don't see him. He might be hiding because you know I'm probably looking for his ass. Hmm. Look, but you can just take me home. Let's just drive around a little bit more so we can find this dude. I mean, you need to check him ASAP. Why do you still even be with this nigga? I don't know. You know, here's the thing. I don't understand how y'all supposed to be so close. And then all of a sudden you can't even chew right because of him. People fight. He beat your ass in your own house. I didn't even want him there in the first place. He ain't nothing but a dirty little crackhead. Mom! So he ain't? He just... He's just shaking. Okay. You gonna forgive me. Got a head in your voice. That man almost killed you. You never know what these street niggas is gonna do. Giovanni gonna kill me. We got too much history. History? <laughs> this nigga slinging on the street, they got history. It's bitches that been in here for five years or more. Now they got history. That nigga you worried about don't give two shits about you based on what you told me he did to you last night. Why you can't let his bummy ass go, Miller? Because. Because like I said, 
We got history. Some deep damn history. Why don't you just give him everything out your pockets? Not unless he's giving you something better in return. Miller, are you sleeping with this boy? Because then that would actually make sense. And you know what? I don't even want you to answer because I can tell how the way you get all tight and shit when I get to asking you stuff about your body. Look, you don't know him like I know him. I know I don't like him. But apparently you damn do even after he beats you. Look, Ma, you need to chill. Oh, so you snapping at me. That's what you're doing up in here. You snapping at me about a nigga? You don't lost your mind. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you that I know what the fuck is going on. And I didn't raise this, Miller. And you're right. I don't know Javon. Not the way you know Javon. But I know that you're my son. And I know that I love you, and I would do anything to protect you. I'm even in here trying to protect you. So don't prance your ass in here looking for no goddamn sympathy about your life choices. I'm, I'm your mom. I just want you to tell me the truth. I want you to know you could tell me anything. I just, like if you gay. Oh, bye, bye. Miller, I'm just trying to tell. Miller! Just trying. I'm just trying to tell you that I understand, son. Darkness and loneliness. Please take hold of me. As I, my visions is lost without sight. Taste is an empty vessel filled with breathless tones that can't be heard from space. As secrets are kept and lies swarm like flies, the district won't let go of its ties. Who will comfort me? You seen Javon? Get the fuck out of here. I asked you if you seen Javon. Yeah, man. He over there. Yeah, all right. Good looking out. Hello? What are you up to? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why? Dwayne is having to get together at Bunny's and you're coming. What time to start? Eleven. I I'll pick you up, okay? Okay. What should I wear? Excuse me? <laughs> um, is there a dress code? Oh, no. Just, just wear something that makes you comfortable. All right, I'll see you at 11. Was that that nigga who got you that job? Don't worry about who it was. Try to figure out who jumped your ass. I don't know. The minute I was walking, and next thing you know, I was seeing blast spots again and stomped on. It could have been anybody. Because you're a shady ass nigga without a lot of enemies. I want to change. No, for real. No more drugs, no more stealing and some more self-acceptance. Self-acceptance? Yeah. Like the fact that I think I love you, Miller. You stole from me, Jay. I know. And I was fucked up. 
And right then is when I realized why I came to you. It's because I love you. I thought you weren't gay. I know, but forget all that. I'm in love with you. Do you love me? I don't know, Jay. I mean, you're kind of all over the place. I mean, how do I know that you're not trying to fuck my life up again? I, I get it. I got a lot of work to do. I'm starting today, though. A clean fucking sleep. I'm gonna go talk to Miss Elaine about getting a job at the church, and maybe she can let me stay with her. Oh, I'm excited to see this. A clean Jay? I haven't seen him since high school. You definitely need to bring him back. And for yourself, not me. I know. But still, I'm gonna do it for you, too. Just to prove to you that I love you. But when are you gonna start? I mean, it's almost noon, nigga. I don't know. What if whoever jumped me last night tries that shit again? I mean, can I at least crash here for the weekend until whoever's beefing me dies out? Hell no. Don't be no punk. Go face that nigga. I don't know who I should be facing. Hey, look, you're not hiding here, Jay. Shit, man. Fuck. All right. Just for the weekend. And that's it. And then you gotta go. You sure? I love you. With all this shit going on, me and my mom's beefing, this nigga Dwayne want me to come over to Bunnies. Every time I walk up in that motherfucker, it smell like, like condoms and dried up lube. I'm not in the fucking mood to talk to no motherfucking body. So I'm in the corner by myself, posted up. And here come this motherfucker. You hear from me, boy Javon? Nah. Probably not. I'm still looking for his ass. That's probably in the hospital. Yeah, Harris caught up with him. Did what he was supposed to do. What? Calm down, nigga. Nobody mentioned you. See, my goal is to make sure that we beat some sense into his stealing ass. How did Harris even find him? Knowledge. We had his name. Snitches out on the street, all too willing to point him out. We good at what we do, man. Yo, you want a lap dance? My girl Lola here, she'll make you nut with no hands. <laughs> nah, I'm not. Celebrate, nigga. See, if it were me, I'd have broke all this fucking food. Oh shit, look at them things! Come on, man, you gotta get some of that. Get in the mood. Get in the mood. Now, some kind What the fuck wrong with you? Heard you got a lap dance at Bunny's tonight. Man, it's a fucking strip club. That shit don't mean a goddamn thing. Might as well get mad at me from staring at them hoes too. That's different. And who told you I was there anyway? Pinky. Pinky. You know, a hoe with the pink hair? Are y'all still talk? Not really, because she talks about people too much. Including me. So at least you see ain't shit changed. That hoe still calling people up and running her fucking mouth. Look, now you're sleeping. How was the career day thing? Your mom's still not coming here for the weekend, right? Don't talk to me. Man, hey, come here. Don't fucking get mad at me because some nobody danced on me in the fucking strip club last night. I don't work my ass off to put money in her bra. I do it to take care of you and Naya. To keep us out the fucking hood. Remember that. You need a plan B, because what if you re-injure your knee again and you can't do construction at all? What are you going to do then? Go back to robbing people like you did before? You ever think about that, dummy? Man, I got a plan A, B, C, and D. Because that's what a real man fucking does. 
We go out and we get lap dances from bitches that we don't like. And we come home to the person that we love. Don't let Pinky Big Mouth ass ruin us. I live for you and Naya. Naya's sleeping. And I was the most popular parent in Mr. Forrest's first grade classroom. And yes, my mom is still coming this weekend. And go wash whoever was on you off. What the fuck are you doing? I ain't gonna listen to my enemies, man. What if this nigga comes back from me? All this fucking paranoia started hitting me. So all that stuff you was talking this morning about being clean was fake? No, man, I'm still gonna do that. Because I love you. You're so damn stupid. Why you gotta play me like that, man? And I've allowed myself to be dragged down by a fucking junkie. You know, today I lost a good chance of having a real good job because I felt bad about you. What are you talking about, man? That nigga that jumped you, he did it for me. What are you talking about? The nigga that jumped you did it for me. To protect me from you. But still. I let you back into my life, and you ruined my situation. <clears throat> you set me up. But you're not worth being set up. You are a waste of fucking life, Javon. I don't care if it hurts your feelings. You know what? I'm not gonna explain myself to you. You're a fucking junkie. I'm the one that should be hurt. I'm the fucking fool. You set me up, now you try to play victim? But you're so fucking high, you don't understand what I'm saying. Nobody set you up. You know what? I'm not gonna even explain myself to you. It's a waste. You're a waste. A fucking time and fucking energy. Get out. Or I'm gonna throw you out. Would you pay the judgment? I, lover of the loveless, me, loveless of the fearful, you, lover of the dreamless, red cross plus signs, three letter words that end lives, who can save us? Is it you? Can it be me? But how can it be we? Step aside outside of district lines, what can you find? False tales of endless possibilities. Fake roads sold as golden coves. Beehives that create lives. Help me find the ties. I'm open. Always value what you got. That's what I've learned growing up in the commons. My relationship with Javon was so toxic that I couldn't function without him. I didn't know what it felt like to be loved, and I was willing to do whatever I need to do to feel that. However, that night was my last night seeing Javon. He died the next day by a stray bullet from a gang shoot out of the basketball court. For thugs in the commons, violence is a way of life, and that's what helped us survive the district.